I look like a literal librarian. Hey guys, it's your favorite musical YouTuber here. Collectibles everywhere, but they're not collectibles. I'm just a nerd, geek, dork, whatever you want to say. Because I have so much stuff, literal crap everywhere. But today, I'm going to be showing you a gigantic section of the crap, which is vinyls, CDs, and I think that's it. Never mind. First, I will go with vinyls because I only have three. I had four. But we're not going to talk about that. I keep all my vinyls in a shelf right um, in my desk because they're important enough to get their own shelf. First one I have is Taylor Swift's newest album, Midnight's. This is the, um, I think, Jade Green or something um, vinyl. Beautiful, sounds great. I got the 10 and 11 and I have the Midnight CD, but my sister and I share it. I have an entire story about this vinyl. So I bought this with my own money, which I felt really good about. <sighs> Not this one specifically. And um, it broke. It was playing. So I turned it off. I took the arm off and I shut it with the vinyl still in there. Went to the bathroom. I came back and it was all scratched. Like, I, I don't even understand what happened, but I know I wasn't because I was just playing it. It was like some weird thing happened, but I ended up having to buy an, a new one. And this is it. I um, got this one for Christmas. Super Ake. Amazing album. So good. I love Conan. And all the little goodies and pictures and stuff and the lyrics you get in here. He's the best. I, I mean, he, he's the best vinyl. I mean, like, the and like, it's so pretty. Like, the rose and everything. Like, I know everyone's probably gonna hate me for picking it up like that, but yeah, so pretty. I love it. And then I have the like eight vinyl <laughs> for Red Taylor's version. <laughs> um, really thick. Like it's it's really thick. There's nothing in here except vinyls. Four in this one and four in this one. I love to just like play all 30 songs. It's really nice. It's just like so comforting fall autumn-ish, which we're kind of falling out of at this point, but um, each year it's really nice to just listen to Red. Moving on to CDs. So I have Speak Now right here, um, not Taylor's version because we don't have that out yet. And I'm really upset about that because the Eras Tour started like a week ago and it's like, come on already, you hinted at it. The Bejeweled music video, I don't know how many months ago. Lavender Haze also, I just, it's amazing. I love listening to it, especially on car rides. For some reason, Speak Now, I just listen to on car rides. Uh, then I have, um, now that's what I call music, 81. It has Doja Cat, The Weeknd, Jonas Brothers, also, I literally cried. I actually cried because um, I got this at Walmart and it has Conan on it, Conan Gray on it. And I literally cried because I'm so proud of him getting up to be on a Walmart CD or Target CD. It was Target, a Target CD he's on. I'm just so proud of him. It's nice to listen to when I want to listen to some more mainstream music, but I usually just like to listen to deep cuts from random artists nobody knows because I'm like that. Like, I don't know. Then I have the Kid Crow CD from Conan Gray, and it's amazing. 
my favorite song is Can We Be Friends. It's 30 seconds long or something like that. It's just so fun to sing and it's like angry but happy at the same time. I don't know why. It's it's obviously not my favorite song, but I do love it. It's probably up there in the top five or something, even though there's only 12 songs on my album, but you know what I mean. Whenever I'm on a car ride and I'm not listening to Speak Now and I didn't bring it, I will listen to Checkmate over and 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 over again. I have Fearless Taylor's version. I wanted a version of any Taylor's version or new album that she doesn't need to re-record, so um, I have Red Taylor's version vinyl, um, this CD, I was planning on um, wanting to get the Speak Now vinyl because I only wanted to get the vinyls of the albums that I really, really loved and then get the CDs of the one that, the ones that I also love but don't um, love as much, I guess. They're all amazing though. I still have to get like the Folklore Evermore Lover CDs and vinyls. I just, I, I don't know when that's gonna happen. <laughs> Probably be able to have them with all within the next five years. I just am cautious about spending money because I literally feel bad making anyone pay for a CD or vinyl because the vinyls are expensive and I, I don't know. There's just something about it that makes me feel guilty when I make someone else buy it. But when I buy it, it's just like, that's huge cut from my sa my whole life savings for the past 13 years now. When I have the Midnight CD that I talked about earlier, my sister keeps it in her room and she broke the case. I don't know how she did, but she did. I'm pretty sure the CD's still okay. As soon as the album was announced, we bought the vinyl and the CD, which was a mistake because she did the deluxe version and the 3 a.m. version. Don't buy anything from Taylor Swift until the day after its release because you have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> and I have the Sour CD, which is not in here because my sister took it from me without asking and then put it in her CD player, took it to her friends, and her CD player with the Sour CD is still at her friend's house, of course. But I do have the Sour CD from Olivia Rodrigo. I got it with the little notebook at Target, like the little Sour notebook that shows like, things about the process of writing the album and each song. And I was like, I have the debut album. I'm going to use that little notebook to put the songs that I picked in there and explain them or like my or like a EP or something and I thought that was so cool and I was like I'm just gonna save it in this little memories box that I have just pull it out like 10 years from now or something when I make my first album or I don't know but that'll be really fun now to show you what I play them on I guess so I'm not going to pick up the record player but I can pick up the CD player. I got this for Christmas and I still have the plastic on because I'm a maniac and just Bluetooth and everything. I can hook it up to a speaker, which I love to do. I love to just like play sour or something really loud because it's very emotional. And now I will show you my record player. It has Bluetooth so it can act like a speaker, but it can't connect to another speaker, so. That's unfortunate. I've seen in some places, some people have gotten um, record players where the record player will connect to a speaker, so you're listening to the music, but it has that like vinyl-esque sound to it. But mine can't do that for some reason, so that kind of sucks. Basically, all I have for you today, I'm sorry this is just a short video, I just want to make something that was easy for me to edit and put together because lately I haven't even really had much time to get done the things I need to do, let alone get done the things I want to do, so sorry about that. Like and subscribe, that would really help me out. I'll put on my Instagram, I'll make a whole video unboxing or something, the next vinyl I get if y'all want, and if you enjoyed the video, 
please like and subscribe like i said if you want to suggest any other lifestyle content you can put that down there if you'd like to see any guitar tutorials piano ukulele anything you can just put those in the comments thank you so much for watching love y'all bye i pressed the button what in the world <laughs>